Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 8. And when last we left the Avatar, we'd been sent out by Vividos to go and search for two reagents, that being an Executioner's Hood and a Dead Man's Elbow. We have both of them, and so we could go back to Vividos whenever we like. But I decided to go and explore this side of the countryside around Tenebrae and see if there was anything of interest here. I found a cave full of uh, kith and a little bit of treasure. I think I might have found everything there, and I found this building far out of the way. Let's go and talk to you, shall we? Excuse me. Hello. Well, what can I do for ye today, stranger? I'm Kokoskia. Pleased to meet ye. I'm Kalandra. I haven't seen ye here before. Are ye new in town? Yes, I am. Well then, welcome. I don't get into town much, so I'm afraid I would be a poor guide there. But I can tell ye about the Sea of Rains. Been fishing it for years. I know it like the back of me hand. Tell me of the Sea of Rains. Ah, the Sea of Rains. She's a temperamental lady, she is. One day she will give ye enough of her bounty to feed the entire city. Then she'll forsake ye for weeks and laugh while ye starve. Tell me of Tenebrae. I did literally just say, but I don't know much about it. Well, tell me of it anyway. I don't get into town much, and I likes it that way. The city is no good. Why is the city no good? The Tempest, that's why. Lady Mordir is a selfish, black-hearted woman. Why, taking a bath was more important to her than saving the life of an innocent child. A bath was more important? The child was a little girl with hair of honey gold and eyes the colour of the Sea of Rains. She was a beautiful child but had taken very ill. What happened to the child? Her mother carried her to the steps of the palace, where she'd begged to see the Tempest. The Tempest has great powers, and if anyone could heal the girl, the Tempest could. But that water rat named Sulkind came out and told the mother that Lady Mordea was taking a bath and could not be disturbed, especially to help a filthy gutter snipe. Filthy gutter snipe? That's what he said. Can you believe that cold-hearted weasel? Did the child recover? Her mother carried her back to the little shack they shared, and tried to doctor her as best she could, but it was no use. The girl passed at the pit of death that night. How do you know this? I know this because that little girl was Elena, my daughter. I am so sorry. Well, I appreciate your thoughts, but ye needn't apologize for something that ain't your fault. So how long are you planning to stay around here? Not long. Well, it's smart that ye are. I would leave too, if it weren't for the sea. Ah, since my little Elena left me, the sea is my only love. The sea and all the little critters. Fine companions those critters are. They mayn't say much, but they are good listeners. Who are good listeners? Why, the fish, of course. They're wise, they are. Would do ye good to listen to them one day, seek their counsel. Bye. Farewell. We're going to be reading a book that's in here, I think. I think there is one book in particular. Now let's see if it's over here. Is it here? It is here. We have seen a copy of this book before. In the uh, cemetery. What the Fish Tell Me. What the Fish Tell Me by Calandra. Oh, the fish tell me all sorts of things. Like when there's sun and when there's rain. They are so nice and very smart and bubbles come up when they fart. Oh, the fish tell me all sorts of things, so I listen to them sing. They sing of life beneath the sea, but never mention if they pee. Oh, the fish tell me all sorts of things, like where they are and where they've been. I guess it just all goes to prove, you can have your friends and eat them too. That was an informative read indeed. I don't think I need any fish, thank you. I have plenty of uh, fish just lying in the middle of the streets of Tenebrae. I don't think there's anything we really need to do here right now, so if you could just move Calandra, that would be good, and then I can head back to where the necromancers are. Or the necromancer. Because um, there's only one now. There used to be uh, the necromancer and the necromancer's apprentice, but now there is just Vividos. And the Avatar, when we eventually get there. We could go and talk to that child, but if that child has the same script as all the other children that we've uh, seen around in Tenebrae, that child is not very likely to talk to us. So we're just going to uh, leave and head this way. 
up here, and around here, and then go and see Vividos, because I'm sure Vividos will want to know that we were successful in finding all of the things that we need. And hopefully the reagents that we found do respawn, or that we can buy them. That would be a good thing, that we could buy the reagents. Then we could just go around and fight enemies and uh, earn money that way. We're going to uh, just quickly head out of here. We may decide to pay a visit to a Solkine's home, just in case we can find anything in there. We may be able to find a few things in there. We may also be able to find a few things at Mithran's home as well. We could probably also get another healing potion as well while we're there. It might be a good idea to do so. And so, off we head past the palace. We probably want to go back to the palace at some point, especially considering the fact that Devon is currently imprisoned there. At least I know where Devon is likely imprisoned, because we have been into the uh, jail before. Let us quickly pop over to uh, Solkine's home and uh, see if we can find anything there. And also into here. Maybe there's something here that I uh, missed before. Is there anything here? Is there a switch at all? We'll move this plant and what do you know? There's actually a switch on the fireplace that we're going to uh, use to get access to down here, I imagine. Yes indeed, we can now get into here. There's nothing here. There, there's nothing. Aha! There's a bag there. We want that. That is better than any treasure. We don't want these potions. These potions are worthless to us. Okay, they're not worthless, but they currently don't have any particular importance. But this bag? This bag is priceless. And we'll just put that there. We have more bags than we could ever possibly want. And there's just some uh, clothes. Will this explode? Do we have a key to unlock this? The answer is no. Is there a key nearby that we could uh, use to unlock this? Maybe, but I haven't found it yet. And to be honest, we probably don't need it. Maybe the key's in here. Let's have a look around. No, no, ah! There's money. Money's good. We'll take that money. It's not exactly uh, a key, but we'll take the money. I'm sure we'll be spending our money at some point. We'll just open this, close this, and it has now all been piled up into one pile. I didn't know the game would do that until I saw it happen last time. That is a very handy thing. Let's just grab this money while we're here. There we go. And we will uh, head this way. And pretend that we didn't take anything. In fact, we will just make this even more uh, obvious that we didn't do anything. We're just going to uh, close this door. And then we're going to move the potted plant back. No one will be any the wiser that we did anything. There we go. I think that is, uh, that's close enough, I'm sure. There we go. It was like we never stole all of that money. Now let's go to Solkine's home and see if we can steal anything from there. Because if there's one thing we've learned about Solkind, he is a not very nice person at all. Let us see if you are home, Solkind. Are you here? I hope you aren't. You are here. Drat. Let us see if we can make time pass and then you're not here. Maybe two periods of time? We're under no particular time constraint here. I don't think Devon's going to die while in prison. At least I hope the game's not going to make Devon die while uh, he's in prison. Okay. We are back here. And are you anywhere, Solkind? Are you asleep? Or are you, uh, around in another room? Because we don't want you anywhere. You are not here, which is good. We want to look around for a few things. Namely, we want to find a key. And I'm going to move this here. If we get close enough. A little bit closer. And there's a key! Somebody told me that a key was here. And what do you know, there is a key here. So we're going to grab this key and put this key on our key ring. Marvelous, we have yet another key. That will probably unlock that door. But we have got more to find yet, because there is another thing that we need to get past first. And we need to, uh, let's just unlock this first, shall we? There we go. Oh, it's still locked. That was not the key that I wanted. Maybe it's uh, that that we need to uh, 
use the uh, key on. There might be a switch somewhere around here that we need to use, but I haven't yet located it. Is it over here by the fireplace? No, it is not. It's probably quite well hidden, I imagine. We'll just have a quick look around, and if we can't find it, we will move on. It's not here, it's not here. The switches are quite small, they are rather difficult to see most of the time. But finding that key, it's a good thing. It's one step closer to getting into that room and uh, finding out what's in there. I think I'll just move these uh, plants around. Maybe this plant is hiding the uh, switch. Okay, that plant actually went through the wall there. I don't think that was what I intended to have happen, but it happened. Anything over here? Any hidden switches or anything that I can... Uh, nope, nothing I can use there. You know what, I think I just need to go to Vividos right now and uh, see if Vividos wants to... Ah, I found a switch. It's right here. The switch is right there. And that, I imagine, will uh, open that. But we still haven't opened this yet. We don't have the key for this yet. But we do have that, and I imagine uh, we can't reach that right now. We need to find another key if we're to get into there. But we're part way there, we just need to find one more key. And I've no idea where that key could be. It could be anywhere. It could be behind one of these books. Let's just have a little look, shall we? We could move this uh, thing back here so that we can better access this area. Let's just put that back. He won't notice that everything's been moved, I'm sure. We are the greatest at moving things and putting them back exactly where they were. I mean, that was exactly where that was, right? Nobody will know anything has been moved. Let's uh, move this book and this quill. Maybe what we're looking for is underneath the book. And maybe we can't move the book. I don't think we can move the book. It's worth a go, though. Let's just move everything. We can't move that book. And there was no key in here. Just move that just in case. No, there was no key in there. We're looking for another key. Maybe there's a key under this uh, one as well. It wouldn't surprise me. There is no key. It was worth checking, though. Are there any more of them that we could move? Or maybe it's underneath these books. And thus, the Avatar looked everywhere for a key that he will likely never find. Let's just move this, shall we? Are you there? No. What about here? No. Maybe this key is hidden in here somewhere. It might be. There are a bunch of potions, including potions of poison. We don't want those potions of poison. We'll just drop that there. There's a doll. We don't want that. We just want to move everything around in here, and there is no key. I'm sure I've passed where this key is somewhere, but I just haven't noticed. And there's no key there. We could actually uh, rest in here and just wait for him to come back, but uh, to be honest, Opening that was at least a part way towards getting in there. We will now head over to Vividos. All we need to do is find the key to that door, and then we'll be in there, and we will find all of his valuable belongings that likely will not actually be that valuable to us, because we have a lot of money, and we also have a lot of items. We'll just ignore that, head over here, and then we will go and seek the Necromancer. It's nice that Tenebrae has so many places you can just explore and look around. It adds a certain aliveness to the whole place. It makes it feel like it's an actual city that uh, people are living in. I have to say that uh, Ultima 7 does that a lot better because you uh, can go about your day and time passes uh, more sensibly than it does in Ultima 8, and you will uh, see things happening, like the baker will eventually stop uh, baking bread and go to the tavern and eat something, and eventually will go to sleep, and people have a daily routine that they go and do, and you can interact with them. You can't exactly influence their daily routine, unless you uh, did something like killed them, and you don't want to do that, because when has the Avatar killed anyone in any Ultima game? It's not like he's had access to a spell that could kill everyone on Britannia for quite a few games. I've definitely never cast it. Ever. Oh look, we're here at the cemetery now. 
let us go and, uh, find Vividos, and, uh, Lothian still appears to be here. Maybe we should do something about that? Maybe? No? Are you up here? You are up here, Vividos. Hello, how are you? I have the things that you asked me to get. Hello again, my friend. I have brought you the reagents, Necromancer. Let's just say hello, Necromancer. Greetings to you, my apprentice. I trust that all is well? Yes, I am well. Good, good. Lithos does provide well for his followers. And I accidentally said, uh, goodbye there, so, uh, goodbye. Let us, uh, say that we have brought all of the reagents. I have brought you the reagents, Necromancer. Give them to me. He's over there, you know. You have done well, my apprentice. For your efforts and your obvious learning, I have something for you. This is the key of the caretaker. It will allow you entry into the upper catacombs. There you must go to learn more of your art. What is in the catacombs? There you will find the ancient necromancers, those who traveled the path of a necromancer long before you or I. My ancient ancestors will teach you what you need to know of our magic. What is the key of the caretaker? The key is an item of power, which will allow you to cast the spells which you will learn in the catacombs. In order to cast spells, you must place the proper reagents in a bag, close the bag, and then invoke the power of the key on the closed bag. When you open the bag, you will find a magic talisman within. When you invoke the magic of the talisman, you cast the spell. How am I to find them? With good faith and a strong heart. Do not worry, apprentice. The ancient necromancers will make themselves known to you. Can you not teach me magic? I can, and in years to come I will. However, the first level of spells you must learn from the ancient necromancers. Those who first created the spells that you will learn will teach them to you. If you pass their tests, you will learn their magic. Then you must come back to me. Where are the upper catacombs? You will find the entrance to the catacombs through the very rock itself. You will need the open earth spell, which you can find in the library, and the key of the caretaker. Go you then just north of here. There you will find a small hall. Cast the open earth spell upon the rock face, and you shall gain entrance to the catacombs. The spell is in the library? Yes, there you will find much that will help you. For in order that you may speak to the necromancers, there is another spell which you must learn. What is there that will help me? In the library, there are books of knowledge, not only spells that you must learn, but also the history of our necromantic order. In the library, you will also find many reagents which you may use when learning to cast spells. And so, he gave us our blessing to take whatever we'd already taken! That's handy. What other spell? As the necromancers are, to be certain, dead, you must cast Death Speak upon their sacred corpses. Only then shall you hear the voices of wisdom from their lifeless mouths. This spell you shall also find in the library. Farewell. Farewell, apprentice. Right, we need to cast some spells, and we need to do one multiple times, and that spell is, uh, Death Speak. Death Speak, you need blood and bone. Whereas the other one, which is the uh, Open Earth spell, we need to uh, use a number of ingredients. We need uh, Blood and Blackmore. We have Blood and Blackmore. So what we can do is we can cast one of these spells. Let us get a bag that is empty, this bag, and let us get a bag which has our reagents in it. It is this bag. We need one of these. Just one. Let's drag this over. And we also need some Blackmoor. Just one. And then, we shall use our Key of the Caretaker, which is quite a large thing. We also need to make sure that we have the right bag here, which is uh, this bag. We use this on the bag. Despoor Lelm. Now we have an open ground spell. That is a useful thing to have. We need another empty bag, though, because this bag is now going to uh, hold our talismans. This bag has reagents in it, and this bag is empty. So this bag is now going to be our casting spells bag. 
We need blood and bone. We need a lot of blood and a lot of bone. How much do we have? We have two piles of bone. And we have, uh, how many piles? Three vials of blood. Okay, we can move two vials of blood into here, like uh, so, and we can move all of this here. And because we have two amounts of uh, reagents, we can then use this uh, here, Calwis Corp, and we have made Deathspeak. Two of them, which is handy. We will be using these to do some of our magic. We're going to need to drop a few things if we're going to uh, do more of this, however. I think we need at least five of them. There is a way that we can go and get more ingredients, however, and that involves going to see Mithran. Mithran sells ingredients, and we're going to be partaking in that uh, ability that he has. He'll be somewhere around here. Maybe he'll have another healing potion. Oh look, Shana's here! Let's have a conversation with Shana. Hello again, Shana. Why are you here? It would be best for you, stranger, to ignore such things. Tell no one of seeing me here. Or you yourself shall feel my axe upon your scrawny neck. She doesn't want people to know that she's here. Perhaps the game has a reason for her being here. I don't think it goes into any detail about that. Hello. Good day, Kikoskia. Hello, Mithran. Good to see you, my friend. Is there some way I can assist you? Another potion, perhaps? Well, aye, my friend. I have one here. Excellent. I want to buy some reagents. I would like to buy some necromancy reagents. I would like to buy some bone. I must ask ten obsidian coins for the bone. I can pay that. Excellent. Use this well. I would like to buy some more bone. Let's buy some more bone. We need to buy at least another one. We'll pay that. And we will buy yet more reagents. Unfortunately, we can't just say what reagent we want. We have to go through the uh, various choices. I think we can buy blood here as well. Don't ask how Mithran gets the bottles of blood. Let us buy some more reagents. Uh, are these in the Thaumaturgy? Let's see. No, they are not. How do we get a hold of blood, then? Maybe blood is, uh... Maybe blood is in the sorcery list of uh, ingredients. No, there is obsidian, brimstone, pumice, ash, or pig iron. I think we need blood. And I do not know where we get vials of blood. Maybe we get vials of blood from killing enemies. But right now, we don't need any of them. We do, however, have another potion. And we might as well drop some things over here that we don't need. Like, for instance, that potion. Where is our bag of reagents? That is not our bag of reagents. This is our bag of reagents. We shall uh, drag one in there. And then we'll drag that in there. And that in there. There we go. And if we close this bag. And then we open that bag. That's not the right bag. They have not combined. Why does the money combine and yet that not combine? By the way, we now have a lot of things that we really shouldn't be carrying. Namely, I don't think we need, uh... Do we need these death discs? We could use that potion. That potion actually is quite useful. What don't we need that's in here? There are some scrolls that we don't need. We also probably don't need this gem. We'll drop that, uh, dark diamond. Once we uh, get past all of these screens there. There we go, we don't need that. We might not even need that right now, but we'll hold on to it. Actually, no, we'll just put this here for now. It's not going to go anywhere. So we have uh, one bag that only has a bedroll in it. And this bag that has healing, invisibility. Do we want this healing scroll? You know what, right now, we'll just put that down as well. We do want a lot of uh, carry capacity. Let's just uh, put that in here, shall we? Just to keep everything nice and organized. Marvelous. And if we did happen to need more money, I'm sure Mithran has more money available for us in here. Excellent. 
Is there more money available in here? There's a backpack. That says to me there might be something good. If, however, we could move this rope. We have moved the rope. What is here? The answer is... There is an... That looks like a magic weapon. We could take that, maybe. It looks pretty good, but I'm a little wary to take it just in case we die horribly. I mean, it could happen. We, we, we might die. We're likely to die. Maybe Mithran doesn't mind us taking this. Let's find out. There's also a lot of money. We'll just note that there's a lot of money there. Can we have this? Can we just put this in our backpack, maybe? Will the game let us? Okay, we now have that uh, magic dagger by the looks of it. Hello? Have you come over here to get really angry at me? No, it seems like you don't care. I'm going to talk to you just in case you care. You don't care. Marvelous! We now have another magic item. We're just going to uh, go over back to uh, Tenebrae because we need to find a way to get more blood. Probably by killing enemies, if that is uh, correct. Maybe correct, it may not. The game hasn't told me. Maybe he sells the reagents. Vividos might be able to uh, provide us with them. But that will be for next time, folks, as when we come back, to learn more about the powers of necromancy, we're going to need to go into the catacombs and explore there. But to do that, we're going to need to uh, prepare a few more spells. The spell casting certainly is not much like how it was in uh, Ultima 7 and Serpent Isle. It's a little bit more cumbersome, but maybe it might still be useful. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. I'm watching you, citizen. Why? You're under suspicion, you know that. Is it because of all this stuff I've been dropping? No. Although I wish it was. I wish it was. Later.